Stephen and Aisha, this is a huge loss for Connecticut. Tributes have been pouring in all evening regarding his passing, and people we spoke to said he wanted nothing but the best for Connecticut and its residents. I would say that Connecticut has been facing a deficit of confidence. And our job here over the next several months and over the next four years is to restore that confidence. Oz Griebel was known for his compassion and confidence. A titan in the greater Hartford region leading the Metro Hartford Alliance aimed at spurring the local economy. He ran as a Republican primary candidate in the 2010 gubernatorial election and as an independent in the 2018 election where he faced off with Republican Bob Stefanowski and now Governor Ned Lamont. The 71-year-old was hit by a car while out for a jog in Pennsylvania last Tuesday, according to his family. Late today, the announcement that Griebel had passed. His family saying tonight they are very appreciative of the outpouring of support they've received since the accident and will share information about services once arrangements have been made. Bob Stefanowski offering his condolences on Twitter, saying, very sad to hear about the passing of Oz Griebel. Oz brought incredible energy and passion to each of difficult challenges he took on. He was a terrific person, worked tirelessly for our state, and will truly be missed. Governor Ned Lamont also saying, I loved listening to his spirited energy whenever he spoke about the opportunity to make Connecticut and the Harford region an even better place to live and work. He's just a very likable, good guy who really cared about the state of Connecticut. And, you know, he wanted to be involved in every conversation. He didn't feel he was in, indebted to any political party. He believed he was just indebted to the state of Connecticut. State Senator Len Fasano worked closely with Oz. He was very um, focused on how we're going to improve transportation in the state of Connecticut. It would invite me to these meetings. And he had an impressive board. And I think that a board was an impressive board because of Oz. State Representative and Harford Chamber of Commerce CEO Julio Concepcion took to Facebook, writing a compelling tribute about his former boss, saying in part, he was so much more than a boss. He was a mentor, a friend, my work dad. We've said that only an independent governor can bring both parties together and the private sector to not only promote the great asset base we have here in Connecticut, and we are a glass half full ticket. And as Griebel was only 71 years old, as to where the incident happened in Pennsylvania, those details are still unknown. I'm live at the state capitol, Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News.